Have a seat there, my friend. Thanks Thank for being you. here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They're screaming for you. <laughs> that was all for me. <laughs> Embarrassing you had to be here for it. <laughs> How awkward they couldn't wait till you were gone. <laughs> Uh, I, got, I got to ask you right from the top. You have got to, if you could do me the honor. Yes. If you could show me how to do the string dance. String dance. String dance is huh? String dance. We had Usher. Uh -huh. We had Usher on the show just the other day, and I gave him a string dance lesson. Okay, first what you do, if you lick the fingers, you got to grab the string. Uh -huh. Then you grab the string here on the side, you lift, and then it's like, ding, 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 ding. Then this is important. You cut the string. You hit falls. Okay, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, forgot. <clears throat> Grab the strings. Yeah. Ting, 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 ting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Congra uh, congratulations. You're now 50% less cool. <laughs> Good job, right. Rock. <laughs> hey, uh, can you show me what the bear was doing? <laughs> I don't know what the bear was doing. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> Maybe you could show me. Uh... <laughs> yeah. No, things are going so well for you. Everything's uh, great. Yeah, everything's going really well. And this is a sign that you've really made it, I believe, in our society. You got a call from Dunkin' Donuts, and they offered to name a pastry after you, a donut. Is yes. that right? Yes. They offered a, to, to name a donut <laughs> after the rock. That is true. I, and, and the, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, what, that's when you know you've actually made it. Man, what a great feeling. You know, and, and throughout the press, I think I was doing press for the rundown, and uh, in the process, I said, yeah, I really love donuts and Dunkin' Donuts. And uh, so I get a call from them um, at the office saying, you know, we'd like to name a donut after the rock. And I thought, well, that's cool. You know, you got a lot of things going on. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Right. Then I started to think, well, um, and then I started to think of people actually eating the donut. Right. Then I started to think, well, does it look like an eclair? Right, right. Uh, is it cream filled? Right, right. You know, how are they like eating the donut? And then yeah. I thought, nah, there's just no way. Yeah. But just... unless, unless, uh, would you ever be interested in a rock donut, Conzie? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just call me Conzie? <laughs> <Sure. laughs> I will take you down, I my know. friend. Down you have to down admit down. that there's, there's, I know you think, okay, you're in great shape, you're the rock <laughs> that you could take me, but there, there's a little fear in your eye, isn't there? Because yeah, I'm a wild man, you never know what I'd do. Uh, you never know. <laughs> I'm so unpredictable as a fighter. You don't, I'm an unknown quantity, admit that. I know, you have that X factor and that intangible, you Thanks. will <laughs> knock me into next week and whip my ass for leaving, yeah, there's yeah. no way. All right, let's pretend that's true. Uh, <laughs> So I, I think don't go for the donut. It's weird. It, it's not. It doesn't. It's not good for your image. Yeah. Oh, there's a cream-filled donut named after me. You don't want that. Let me ask you. Sorry, Dunkin' Donuts. I love your product. <laughs> and you can send me some donuts if you want. Um, Maserati, you make a good car. Uh, <laughs> there'll be one tomorrow in my office. Um, you're making a movie now. I understand. You're shooting it right now yes. where you sing. It actually, this role calls for you to sing. It does, it does, what, yes. Tell us, what movie is this? It's, uh, it's, it's a comedy with John Travolta and Uma Thurman. It's called Be Cool, F. Gary Gray is directing. A very, very funny movie. So I play a villainous gay bodyguard. <laughs> Look, I can, I have to do this. I have to hold my eyebrow up. I can't do it naturally. I know, but I can do that, but I can't do the, uh, the hair, yes. <laughs> if I was a wrestler, that would be my hook. You know that, don't you? I'd do that. <laughs> and then I'd be beaten within an inch of my life. So you say you play a, a yeah, gay I, 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 singing I, I, bodyguard? Villainous uh, gay bodyguard. I'm trying to convince John Travolta to do him. Yeah, I, I could sing. I have I have talent. So picture me uh, transforming myself into with an afro, a lot darker goatee, very tight red satin cowboy outfit, with a yeah, with, <laughs> ow, <laughs> with a cowboy. The ladies hat. and one guy are excited. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and singing of all songs, this song. Uh, It'll be over my dead body, so get out while you can, cause you ain't woman enough to take my man. Wow, that's not bad. Yeah. Well, you, you can pull it off. So, 
yeah. So sing a map to those guys, so picture that. Yeah, that must be a great moment. Did you, did you step outside your body when you were shooting that scene and think this is really weird that I'm doing this? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. Now, um, let me ask you about your, your family. I know that your, your father was in the wrestling business and, and, and an entertainer. Uh, yes, my dad was a wrestler, my grandfather was a right, wrestler. So, so like, there's, this is in your blood, the entertaining. You have a, a little baby girl, is that right? I do, yeah. Yeah, I'm so is girl. she gonna get into entertainment? Is she gonna be a performer, do you think? Uh, well, you know, the, the funny thing is, is I have these, these philosophical conversations, and, and you'll get there, I know you have a baby girl. And it's a beautiful thing, you know, and, I'm, and she's two and a half, and I'm sitting her down when we're all by ourselves, like, okay, baby, well, you know, uh, you know, that daddy's filming a big movie, and he's, one day he's going to show it to you, and we're going to watch it, and then maybe one day you could do big things, whatever you want to do. Uh, do you understand what daddy's saying? And she's like, daddy time poo-poo. <laughs> <laughs> daddy time poo-poo. Time poo-poo. Yeah, right. yeah. It's when they're 18 and saying that that you have to worry. That's the problem, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's when there's no evolution after that. <laughs> daddy time. Daddy time poo poo, dude. <laughs> Daddy time poo poo. <laughs> Peeling off in a beautiful Maserati. Now. <laughs> oh, with Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. In, in the truck. With the bear. Um, <laughs> You keep bringing up the bear. I'm trying Something. to elevate this classy show, and you keep mentioning that bear. I don't know how he gets in here. Um, now, you're making this, the movie that you're promoting now, Walking Tall. Yes. This is uh, obviously a, cla was a classic that sure. you've remade. And yes. uh, you did this movie with Johnny Knoxville. Yes. Was Johnny Knoxville uh, <laughs> making any, uh, sort of doing any of his stunts on the set or, or trying to pull any stunts on you? Was there any of that going on? Well, no, not really, because, you know, then I'd, I'd try and pull the stunt of, a, of a, just, a, just an all-day-long fresh ass whooping. <laughs> <laughs> but... That's your stunt that you can always pull. <laughs> that was really funny, Johnny. Now look at my stunt. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> But he's, he's, you know, he's a crazy guy, and the whole thing, you know, the jackass thing. I, I, like, he, he's, he's a great guy, in the, and he's a great guy, and he's great in the movie, but, you know, the, some of his buddies, man, those guys are crazy, you know? I, yeah, just, I, yeah. I turned on jackass one time, and I never got the whole uh, putting a, a bottle rocket in the, in the uh, anus. I just didn't understand that. Well, you just haven't tried it, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Don't knock it till I try. Exactly. Okay. Where's the bear? What a Let's time go. I had. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, well, now let's talk about uh, about Walking Tall because we have a clip here, but I want to make sure people uh, we, we um, set this up appropriately. People know what the story is. Uh, yeah, yes, uh, it's it's a inspired by a true story. Mm -hmm. This incredible story, uh, entertaining movie. A soldier comes home only to find that the the town is corrupt. Mm -hmm. And back 40 years ago, it was uh, it was uh, it was uh, it was moonshine and prostitution. Now it's crystal meth. Right. And it affects his family. And um, he decides to take a stand and fight for what he firmly believes in. And mm -hmm. he decides to walk tall. Okay, and this is a, uh, a and, scene... And, uh, which, by the way, and there's, there's nothing better, especially this day and age, it's nothing fancy, it's just, it's, it's straight ahead, no CGI, no special effects, and it's just awesome. Right, it's not you, sp it's, it's just, these are, this is just you... Sure. Well, ass you know, whooping time, I, yeah. <laughs> exactly, and taking a four by four and just handing out blue collar ass whoopings. Oh, I, I, uh, I think you, everyone will see what you're talking about in this clip from Walking Tall. That's one of my favorite things from action movies is that you kill, like, you kill nine people with a board, and then there's still a guy who sees all that happen and then goes, now it's my turn. <laughs> That's right. I saw him kill nine other people, but now I'm going to get in there. <laughs> no. <laughs> Always that, was, that was great. Uh, Walking Tall uh, is in theaters now. Uh, thanks for, for coming and bringing the rock much, magic. Wherever you go. The rock. Colin Quinn, come on, take a break.